I've been working with glass minnow patterns for quite a while. Been trying to find a really good, easy fly to tie um, that is a non glass minnow, you know, it, the typical epoxy fly. Um, this fly is really designed to use out on the beach for snook or you know I'm, I'm thinking this would be very good for Bonita and Max when they're in. Uh, it's simple to tie, um, takes no time at all and um, I've gone through several versions of it and finally kind of dialed it in. It seems to work pretty well. As you can see, I already have thread base down on this. This is a, a Dairiki 930 number 2 hook. I'm using white fly master and I'm going to tie some 35 thousandths lead wire down right on top of the hook. All the way to the back where it bends. A little twist. And it pops right off. Next is a small bundle of Steve Ferrar uh, SF blend. Um, I tried Enrico, it doesn't work with Enrico. Uh, it, uh, Enrico needs a little bit more support. That's not a knock on Enrico, I just for this particular fly it works better with the SF. I'm going to fold, this is a half length of the Ferrar blend in the white, and I'm going to tie that in right on top of the hook. So we've got a nice tail on this fly. Next I'm going to tie in some white medium chenille, you know, just the carded chenille. I'm going to tie that in right on that same jam knot in the back. And I'm going to bring my thread forward to right in front. Okay, this, I'm going to palmer this and build a body. I'm going to stop short of the, the eye. Trim this off. A couple more wraps. Now, red sharpie. I'm going to dot right in the middle on both sides. That's my gill. Next, this is a, a belted flash called Baitfish Emulator. It, it's nice stuff to work with. Um, my original fly had three Palmer wraps of this. I'm going to only put two on. Um, I found that it didn't sink right when there was too much on and I'm looking for a little bit more sparse uh, look to the fly. So I'm going to bring this in and tie it in right in front of that chenille. And I'm going to put two wraps of this material on the front. Tie it down. Give it a quick trim. And I'm going to build my head. OK, 
Okay, whip finish. Okay, this fly is basically done. Um, I'm going to put a couple of uh, red metallic eyes on. These are 532nd or 2.5mm um, uh, foil eyes. I'm going to stick one on both sides and then I'm going to uh, do the over the top of the head with the UV epoxy. We'll be right back. I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll finish this fly up. Okay, I've stuck my foil eyes on it. I'm going to give it a little bit of this UV epoxy. Little dab on the got a toothpick here. Be sure and put a little bit over the top of your eyes. I tried this fly originally with uh, 3D eyes and the problem was I did the glue job on the um, back side of the eyes and then as soon as I went out and fished them uh, the outer dome of the eye popped off both sides and left the, the foil sitting there with no 3D dome over it. So don't waste your money on using 3D eyes for this. This, this is fine with 2D eyes. Um, anyway, we're going to give that a little shot of UV. Okay. This fly is complete. Just a little bit on the fly. And there you go. A quick and easy glass minnow.